uh, just keep so just keep um, a block nearby. You may need it. You may not. Um, and um, I do apologize if you do hear any noise in the background. I'm just having my kitchen done, so I told him not to make that much noise. But we'll try to just focus on my voice instead, and uh, we'll just see how the practice goes. So to begin, we'll start in Tadasana standing. Sorry, I know you guys have sat down and got comfortable. But we'll just start on our feet, standing at the top of our mat. So for Tadasana, you either want to bring the toes together with a slight gap between your ankles and heels, or you can bring the feet hip width distance apart, whatever feels good for you today. And then from there, let's lift the toes through the four corners of the feet press down. So you're rooting down through the feet. And from here, let the toes spread down into the mat so that you're now rooting down what we call padha bandha. So we're rooting down through the feet. The legs come alive, allow the navel to slightly come in and you'll feel that it'll lift in the spine. And from here, we're just gonna bring the shoulders up, back and down. So we're opening up through the chest. And then when you set up here, nice and tall, we're gonna inhale, circle the arms up towards the sky. And then exhale, bring the hands down to heart center in Anjali Mudra. From here, go ahead and just gently close the eyes. And then from here, just feeling yourself rooting down into the ground and coming into this moment, the only moment that you exist in. And then from here, start to dial into the breath as it flows in and out. And every new fresh breath in, see if you can make it longer and slower. Feeling the body relax, feeling the mind becoming relaxed. And from here now, visualize yourself drawing the breath from the roots, from your feet, all the way up through the legs to the heart center. And then as you exhale, visualize yourself just releasing that breath back down into the ground. As you inhale, feeling that breath travel up to the heart, feel the belly expand, the ribs expand, and the chest fill. As you reverse the flow of the breath, feel the chest sink, the ribs come in, and the navel slightly comes in. As you stand here, set an intention for your practice, a sankalpa. What is it that you wish to practice here today? What is it that you wish to cultivate? Be it peace, love, kindness, whatever it is. Repeat into yourself your intention for today's practice. Beautiful. From here, let's take three nice long cleansing breaths, breathing deeply in through the nose, and then sigh out the mouth. Two more times, breathing deeply in through the nose, and then slowly exhale out the mouth. One last time, filling yourself up. And then slowly out the mouth.
you from here gently blink open the eyes bring the hands by your side from here we're gonna come into a little bit of a neck stretch so from here you're gonna bring the right ear towards your right shoulder try to keep that right shoulder down and low so don't focus on bringing it up to the right ear and then let the left fingertips extend down so you add to that stretch from the left side of your ear to the left shoulder releasing any tension in this area as we prepare for the week ahead of us beautiful the next inhale slowly bring the head back up to center and now we're going to let the left ear drop towards the left shoulder letting the left shoulder sink down and if you'd like you can extend out for the right fingertips add into the stretch on the right side breathe into this stretch visualize the breath touching the neck and as you breathe out feel this area just soften Beautiful, on the next inhale, come back to the center, head straight, rooting down through the feet. Inhale, we're gonna circle the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, we're gonna fold forward from the hips. Inhale, coming to your flat back, hold here with the hands on shins or the ground. See what works for you if the body's still cold at this moment in time. Roll the shoulders back, Tuck the chin in, so you're long through the spine. Keeping your focus directed towards the breath as it flows in and out. Beautiful. Take a nice long inhale here. Exhale, bend the knees, fold forward. Coming into Uttanasana. From there, just bending one knee at a time. Maybe you shake your head. Maybe you sway side to side. Find what works for you. Beautiful. Now strong for your feet. Inhale, you circle the arms up to the sky. And then exhale, bring the hands down to heart center. Beautiful. Strong for our feet. Now we're going to inhale, circle the arms up to the sky. And then from there, exhale, we're going to twist to the right, coming into a T shape. So from there, you want to keep the hips square. The tendency is for the right hip to peel back. Let's see if you can keep it level with the left. And then you're extending out through the opposite fingertips, looking over the right hand. So that we're adding some more space and movement to the spine as we twist. Beautiful. From here now, inhale, let's bring the arms back up to the center. And then exhale, we're gonna twist to the left. Keeping the hips square, rooting down through the feet and legs. Sending the arms out in opposite direction, looking over the left fingertips. Beautiful. From here now, inhale, we're gonna come back up to the center, arms raised. And then exhale, we're gonna fold forward from the hips. Inhale, come into your flat back. And then from here, we're gonna step back to plank. Keep breathing, holding the pose. So from here, push the ground away from you as you lift out of the shoulders. Feel the heels drop back, see through that stretch in the feet. Engage the thighs, engage the core. And then from here, keep breathing in and out. Moving the shoulders away from the ears. Beautiful. From here, take a nice long inhale here. Exhale, knees, belly, chest, the chaturanga, dandasana. From here now, let the toes extend back. 
hands by the sides of the ribs. Elbows tuck in. From here, we're going to inhale, lift into Bhujang Asana. And then exhale, slowly melt down to the ground. Two more times. Inhale, lift on. Exhale, slowly melt down. Inhale, lift up. Hold here now, breathing in and out. Keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Elbows are tucked in till the toes extend back. Breathing into the front of your chest. You from there take a nice long inhale in and then exhale. We're gonna melt down, tuck the toes, lift the hips back to downward dog. Ardua Mukha Swanasan. From there, spread the fingers wide as the sun, feel the palms root down into the ground. From here now, if you'd like, you can take that dog for a walk, bending the knee one knee at a time, and just moving your hips side to side. Try to find peace in this pose, not gripping the face, not tensing in the jaw. Let yourself be as soft as possible. Coming back to the breath, coming back to this moment. Beautiful. From here now, take an inhale, float the hips back, find length in the side of the body. And then exhale, slowly walk the feet up towards your hands. Inhale, come into halfway lift. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, rise up with a flat back. Exhale, hands too hard. Take a nice long breath in through the nose. And then slowly exhale out the mouth. Beautiful, guys. We're going to now put that together. One movement, one breath. Hi, Rebecca. From here now, inhale, circle the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, we're going to twist over to the right. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, come into a halfway lift. Hold the breath, step or jump back to plank. Exhale, coming down, Chaturanga Dandasan. Inhale, lift the heart in Bhujangasana. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward dog. Inhale, push the hips back, find length. Exhale, step or jump forward. Inhale, coming into your halfway lift. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, rise up with a flat back. Exhale, hands too hard. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And then slowly sigh out the mouth. Beautiful. From here now, inhale, circle the arms up to the sky. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, come to your halfway lift. Hold the breath, step, or jump back to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasan. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward dog. Inhale, float the hips back. Exhale, step or jump forward. Inhale, come into your halfway lift. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands too hard. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Slowly sigh out the mouth. Inhale, circle the arms up to the sky. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, twist to the left. 
Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, halfway lift. Hold the breath, step or jump back to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Cobra, Upward Dog, the choice is always yours. Exhale, tuck the toes, Downward Dog. Inhale, float the hips back. Exhale, step or jump forward. Inhale, come into a halfway lift. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, circle the arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And sigh out the mouth. Rooting down through the feet as we move on from those. We're going to inhale, circle the arms up to the sky. Interlace the hands, except for the index finger. Let the index finger point up. Take an inhale here. And then exhale, lean over to the right. Breathing in and out here. Making sure that the left hip isn't sticking out, that you're keeping it neutral. So you're feeling that stretch in the left side of the body. Beautiful. And the inhale, come back to the center. And then exhale, lean over to the left. Breathing into the right side of the ribs. Creating length. These deep respiratory muscles, so you can take in more air. Beautiful. The next inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the right foot back, right knee down to the ground. Inhale, rise into your low lunge. Hold here, breathing in and out. So at this point in time, if you want to bring your hands down to your left thigh, that is always available for you. Otherwise, from there, just feel the hips sinking down and forward as you feel that stretch, that opening in the hips. You feel that stretch on the front of your right thigh as the right foot extends back. See if you can bring that navel in slightly so you feel the lift in the spine, keeping the shoulders relaxed. And here, if it feels good, initiating a little stretch through the fingers, the hands. How often do we get to stretch these points in the body? Beautiful. From there, let's give it a nice long inhale. Feel that extension. Exhale, bring the hands down to frame the left foot. Inhale, step the left foot back. The high plank. Exhale, Chararanga Dandasana. Inhale, lift the heart in Bhujangasana or upward dog. And then exhale, tuck the toes, downward dog. From an inhale, float the hips back. Exhale, step the right foot forward, left knee down to the ground. Inhale, rise into your low lunge, hold here. Building the pose from the foundation. And then upward, so feel the front foot strongly rooting down. Feel that left foot extending back. Feel the hips sinking down so you're creating that opening that space. Let that navel come in, shoulders relaxed. If you'd like, you can always smile. The yoga doesn't have to be serious. Beautiful. Give it one last inhale here. Exhale, bring the hands to frame the right foot. Inhale, step the right foot back to high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward dog. Inhale, float the hips back. Exhale, step or jump forward. Inhale, come into a halfway lift. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, circle the arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. 
take a deep breath in through the nose and then slowly sigh out the mouth. Beautiful. We'll put that together, one breath, one movement. So from here, first, feel yourself rooting down into the ground, legs are strong. Inhale, circle the arms, interlace the fingers, except for the index. Exhale, lean over to the right. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, lean over to the left. Inhale, back to the center. And then exhale, fold and release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the right foot back, right knee down to the ground. Inhale, rise into your low lunge. Exhale, hands to frame the left foot. Inhale, step the left foot back to plank. Exhale, Chararanga Dandasana. Inhale, lift the heart, let it shine. And then exhale, tuck the toes, downward dog. Inhale, float the hips back. Exhale, step the right foot forward, left knee down to the ground. Inhale, rise to low lunge. Exhale, hands to frame, the right foot. Inhale, step the right foot back to plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward dog. Inhale, push the hips back. Exhale, step or jump forward. Inhale, come into a halfway lift. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, rise up with a flat back. Exhale, hands too hard. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Slowly sigh out the mouth. Beautiful. Inhale, circle the arms, interlace the fingers. Exhale, lean over to the right. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, lean over to the left. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming to halfway lift. Exhale, step the right foot back, right knee down to the ground. Inhale, rise up into Anjaniya Asana. Exhale, hands come down to frame the left foot. Inhale, step the left foot back to high plank, Chaturanga Dandas. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward dog. Inhale, push the hips back. Exhale, step or jump forward. Inhale, come into a halfway lift. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, rise up with a flat back. Exhale, hands too hard. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Hold here. Breathing in and out. Just feel what's happening on the inside because everything that's happening is happening on the inside. Feel the heat, feel the energy rising. Beautiful. And then moving on from those, we're going to inhale, circle the arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, come into a halfway lift. Exhale, step the right foot back at a 45 angle degree. Inhale, rise into your warrior one, Virabhadrasana. So from there, square the hips. Let that right hip come forward so it's in line with the left. And you're pushing, you're rooting down through that right heel. Bring that navel in, <clears throat> shoulders relaxed. From there, we're gonna inhale, extend up, and then exhale, we're gonna bring chest to thigh, sweep the arms behind. Inhale, lift up using the core. And then exhale, chest to thigh, arms sweep back. 
inhale, lift up. Exhale, chest to thigh, arms sweep back. From here, inhale, lift up. And then exhale, open up into warrior two, pivot in on the right foot. So find that heel to arch alignment, left heel, right arch, looking over the left fingertip. From here, relax the shoulders, let them sink down so they don't need to be up. Let them drop as low as possible and then extend out through both fingertips so you feel that stretch across the chest. And then breathe in, in and out deeply. Letting yourself be here. Just breathing and being. Beautiful. From there, you're gonna let that right hand just drop to the outside of the right thigh. We're gonna inhale, come into Peaceful warrior. Keep a bend in that left knee. Extend that left arm up, but keep that shoulder down. Beautiful. Take an inhale here. Exhale, we're gonna come into extended side angle pose. So the left forearm comes down to the left thigh and then the right arm extends up. Keeping our right shoulder back in its joint. So the right arm is extended across your right ear. Forward, yep, that's it. And then you're rooting down through that right foot. The outside edge of the right foot, feeling that strong diagonal line. A stretch that opening you're creating on the right side of the body. Beautiful. From here now, we're gonna inhale, come back to Peaceful Warrior. And then from here, exhale, we're gonna cartwheel the hands to frame the left foot. Inhale, step the left foot back to high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward dog. From here, inhale, float the hips back. Exhale, step or jump forward. Inhale, come into your halfway lift. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, rise up with a flat back. Exhale, hands too high. From here, I will go on the other side, rooting down through the feet. Inhale, circle the arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, coming to halfway lift. Exhale, step the left foot back at a 45 angle degree. Inhale, rise into warrior one on this side. So again, you want to square the hip, feel the left hips in line with the right hip. Engage that core, that navel for the lift in the spine. Shoulders relax. See if you can slightly engage the glute as you tuck the tailbone, feeling that added stretch in the left thigh. Beautiful. From here, we're going to come into those sweeps on this side. From here, inhale, extend up. Exhale, chest to thigh, arms come back. Inhale, back up. Exhale, chest to thigh, arms sweep back. Inhale up. Exhale, chest to thigh, arms come back. From here now, inhale, lift back up. Exhale, open up to warrior two. Pivot in on that left foot. Find that heel to arch alignment, right heel, left arch. Let the shoulders relax and then extend out through both fingertips. Really see if you can engage the tricep in your arms to add to that extension. Beautiful. 
Coming back to the breath, making it slow and steady so that the mind can become slow and steady. Beautiful. From there now, we're going to release that left hand. We're going to inhale, come back to peaceful warrior. Keep bending in that right knee. Keeping that right shoulder down. If there's any pain or discomfort, maybe that you've gone too deep, so you can always ease back out. Find what works for you. Beautiful, take an inhale here. Exhale, we're gonna come into side angle pose on this side, bringing that right forearm down to the right thigh, and then extending the left arm up and over. Pressing into the outside edge of the left foot, extending up through the left hand and arm. And not dumping your weight into the right thigh. See if you can lift out of the shoulder. You. From there now, inhale, let's come back to Peaceful Warrior. And then exhale, we're going to carve the hands to frame the right foot. Inhale, step the right foot back. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward dog. Hold and downward dog for a couple of breaths here. Just taking note of how this has changed from the first downward dog that you did. Still spreading through the fingers, palms are rooting down. Keeping the breath slow and steady. From here now, let's take a nice long inhale through the nose. And then exhale out the mouth. Beautiful. From here now, inhale, float the hips back. Exhale, slowly bring the knees down to the ground. From here, bringing the knees wide out or having them set up close together into your form, your version of Balas and Child's Pose. So choose which Child's Pose you want to do, whether wild leg or whether the thighs come together and then you let them sink back. You know, from here, you can keep the arms extended forward if you're in the traditional balasana, or you can bring them behind. If you're in wide leg child's pose, then let the arms stay in front of you. Just take this opportunity to come back to the breath. Feeling every bit of your body that's in contact with the ground, with the mat. so that you're here, you're not somewhere else in the past, the future, which doesn't exist. And while you're in this pose, if you like using the following affirmation, to put you back in the driver's seat. Breathing in, you're gonna affirm mentally, breathing in, calming the mind and body. And as you breathe out, mentally affirm to yourself, breathing out, calming the mind and body. And then in the affirmation, follow the breath so that we're not distracted by our thoughts. Allowing us to change our internal environment for our well-being. You 
beautiful. For me now, you're gonna gently, slowly crawl the hands back to your face if they were extended forward. If they were behind you, you can bring them right close to your face and then slowly lift yourself up. From here, you're gonna bring the legs out to the side, taking the time. And then from here, you're gonna bring the left knee at a 90 degree angle in front of you as we set up for their pose. So let me face you guys. <clears throat> so the hips stay facing square ahead and the left knee bends at a 90 degree angle. And then from here, the right thigh can stay close or you can extend their back. If you extend their back, you're gonna feel more of a stretch here and I may feel uncomfortable so you can bring it in. So choosing how you wanna set up for this pose, facing forward from here, we're gonna inhale, bring the arms up and then exhale, fold forward. Now from here, you may not be able to go all the way down. Your arms may be straight and that's okay. If your arms need to stay straight, that is fine. Otherwise, you can always place a block in front of you as well if you need to go down on that. Otherwise, you can let yourself sink as far as you want to. Seeing where it feels good. Breathing in and out. As you breathe in and out, see if you can introduce a little pause in between the inhale and the exhale. So as you breathe in, maybe you pause for a second or two, and then you exhale. So the journey of the breath becomes longer. The nervous system becomes more and more relaxed. From here now, the next inhale is going to slowly come back up, taking your time. And then from here, you're going to extend that left leg out straight, setting up for Janu Shirasan. So the left leg comes out straight, right foot comes to the inside of the left thigh, and now you're facing the left foot, which is extended forward. Let the toes come back. And then from here, sitting upright, you're going to inhale, circle the arms up towards the sky and then exhale, fold forward. From here, if you need to, you can keep a little bend in your left knee. This makes it a lot more easier. And from here, making sure the shoulders stay down, it's not rounding the back, so don't collapse the chest in. It makes it difficult to breathe this way. Keep the spine straight, shoulders relaxed. Not focusing on getting yourself all the way down, but rather focusing on your breath and focus where you're feeling this release. If you want, you can always just come back to that affirmation and keeping that pause in your breath. Beautiful. From here now, we're going to slowly lift ourselves back up. And then from here, we're going to bring that right leg out at a 90 degree angle for their pose. Left foot comes behind us, opening up to your desired limit, because if you bring it back, you will feel an intense stretch, so you can bring it close. 
And then keeping that right knee bent at a 90 degree angle, facing that foot. And from here, you're gonna inhale, circle the arms up towards the sky. And then exhale, fold forward. Maybe you might be on your hands, maybe you might be on your forearm, wherever you're at, we accept. Accept and be with the body, be with the breath, and that's where you'll find your peace, your harmony. Remember, as thoughts arise, do not let them bother you. Their very nature is to come and go. But who do they come and go to? That is what you are. That is who you are. The awareness. Observing the thoughts. right leg out in front of us bring the left foot to the inside of the right thigh feel the right heel dig into the ground right toes extend back from here we're going to inhale circle the arms up to the sky and then exhale fold forward keeping that straight spine shoulders relaxed breathing in and out affirmation, using the body, using the breath to just come back to this moment. It's not that we should be constantly moving to find stillness and peace. If we can just come back to the body, come back to the breath, even if we're not moving, you can still find that peace which is always available for you. Beautiful from here now, inhale, slowly come back up. And from here, I'm gonna bring the feet close to us and then slowly transition onto your back. From here now, you're gonna bring the arms out in the T shape or you can cactus them as we set up for a supine twist. From here, we're going to lift the knee and then we're going to drop them over to the right. What you want to do is you want to keep that left shoulder pressing down, rooting down into the mat. And then from there, choosing where you want your gaze. Maybe you can have a neutral looking up or you can turn the head to look over the left shoulder, the left fingertip. if you can feel the breath filling the belly, the ribs and the chest. Mm -hmm. 
with every breath in, just visualize yourself feeding the body with fresh oxygen, with more vitality. Beautiful. From the next inhale, let's bring the knees back up to the center. And from there, we're going to twist over to the left side. And keep the gaze up. You can look over the right shoulder, right fingertips, where it feels good. Maybe try to feel the presence of every breath coming in and out. Beautiful from here now, come back up to the center. Come here, let's bring the knees in. <clears throat> Just gently embrace them, rolling side to side. And from here, I'm gonna give you an option of what we're gonna come into next. So we're gonna bring the arms out above us, maybe grab opposite elbows or the hands. Just so you're all comes through the chest and with the feet and the legs, you can either come into butterfly or bring the feet out to the edge of the mat on the side and let the knees collapse in towards each other. So feel what feels right for you today, whether you have the knees collapsing to one another or whether you want to come into butterfly leg, whatever feels good at this moment in time, but keeping the arms up and over your head so that you're open through the chest. And from there, we'll come into a little breathing practice. We'll be inhaling for four, holding for four, and then exhaling out the mouth for four. So to begin, let's take a nice long inhale through the nose. And then slowly exhale out the mouth. From here, we'll inhale for four, three, two, one, hold for four, three, two, one, exhale out the mouth for four, three, two, one, inhale for four, three, two, one, hold for four, three, two, one, out the mouth for four, three, two, one, inhale for four, three, Two, one, hold for four, three, two, one, out the mouth, four, three, two, one, inhale for four, three, two, one, hold for four, three, two, one, out the mouth for four, three, two, one, in for four, three, two, one, hold for four, three, two, one, out the mouth for four, three, two, one, last cycle in for four, three, two, one, hold for four, three, two, one, exhale out the mouth for four, three, two, one. From there, take a nice long breath in, filling yourself up as much as possible. Hold at the top for as long as you can without any strain or discomfort. And then slowly release the breath out the mouth. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. From here now, we'll settle in towards our final pose, Shavasan Corpse Pose. Bring the feet out wide, arms out wide. Relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. Giving yourself permission to sink down onto the ground. Feeling every breath. And letting go of any muscle engagement. Feel the bone softening. Giving yourself permission to sink into the ground. For a minute, let's just take those three cleansing breaths in, breathing deeply in through the nose, and then just sigh out the mouth sinking and releasing. Two more times, taking a nice long inhale through the nose. And then slowly out the mouth. One last time, make it the deepest inhale you've taken. And making it the longest, slowest exhale out the mouth. Letting yourself just be here.
We just start to bring some awareness back into the body, introducing little movements in the fingers, the toes. Maybe you move your head side to side. Maybe you give yourself a nice long overhead stretch. Whatever feels good at this moment in time. Then from here, whenever you're ready, roll in over onto your favorite side. Keeping the eyes closed. And coming up into a comfortable seated position. And then we're bringing the hands in Anjali Mudra prayer, hands in front of the heart. Coming back to the breath as it flows in and out. We will close the practice with Chana three arms followed by three Shanti. To begin, let's take a nice long inhale through the nose. Thank you for joining me today for this practice. Hopefully the last one.